Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans. What we do around here, what we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health paradigm. We do that as often as we can, usually several times per week. We continue to do that to the best of our ability in the easiest way possible. We do that for the benefit of connecting with you. Um, the... Uh, topic for today's particular audio is signs you won't be single that much longer. Um, if you're looking for dating coaching, uh, relationship coaching, would love to be of assistance to you in 2022 and beyond. Would love to be able to help you in any way that I can. Please feel free to reach out at PO Perception on Twitter or in the About Me section of this YouTube page. Either way, we'll get you in touch with me or members of my team. We can make something happen quickly, efficiently, and in a good way. So, uh, the first thing for a person to continue to think about is um, not searching. So oftentimes the relationships that last the best are the ones that come when you're shining at your best, when you're doing your best in life, when things are going well for you, and then a relationship is an add-on. If there was one bit of advice I could give to the pe people at, at, at a whole or in a whole um, as it relates to relationship building, it's, if you're searching and you have anxiety around the concept of the search, it's not the right time to be looking because you're going to settle for things and look past red flags. If you're in a good space within yourself and then you add a relationship onto that, there's there's good things to be had there. Next is you're over your past relationships. You're over the hurt of the past to the best you can be and you are willing to Admit and own parts of why your past relationships didn't work. It doesn't necessarily mean that you expect to, um, you know, never have hardship again. But you're willing to say, you know what, I'm over what happened here and here and here. And I feel like ultimately there are good things that can come from the next stage of things. The next is you're willing to drop your guard. So uh, a certain level of vulnerability is required to be able to begin a meaningful long-term relationship that dropping of guard can sometimes be uncomfortable for people especially individuals who aren't good with vulnerability or who have had their vulnerability taken advantage of in the past but the willingness to do that the willingness to um, drop guard and just trust in the process of getting to know someone without expectation that's the other thing too a lot of times we put expectations upon uh, whether a relationship is going to work or not or, or help us to grow. And so when we are willing to drop our guard in order to let a relationship organically develop, um, there is less uh, um, chance of a relationship ending badly. So the next thing is um, kind of knowing yourself well, and that means you're ready to grow. It means you have a good grasp on your strengths, good grasp on your weaknesses. You're willing to be honest about both. You're willing to know what your preferences are. You know what's going to benefit you. You know what's coming next. You're not looking to change a person, save a person, have the other person save you, lead in a direction where there's a constant drama around you know, the level of control you have over the other person. You know what you're trying to accomplish with the relationship. You have the ability to articulate the things that matter to you as it relates to the building of the relationship. You know what your deal breakers are and you're willing to walk away from a person if they break them. And, and then the next thing is you're not looking to control the person. So often relationships end over the concept of control mechanisms. Now control mechanism could be any number of things. It could be jealousy, it could be insecurity, it could be any other number of negative habits, but you, you are willing to admit if you have, the, have had them in the past, willing to be honest about the level of security you feel with the person you're with and what would make you insecure so that those insecurities don't happen. But again, and this is a hard thing for lots of people to understand, if a person allows you to feel insecure or causes you to feel insecure, they may not be the best person for you because true love does not cause levels of insecurity and that's where people often settle in in terms of relationship development they think okay well i've never had complete security before i'm asking too much and expecting too much or whatever the case may be when in reality it's it's 
your needs matter and you must make them matter in a way that makes sense for you to be able to continue to develop in a meaningful fashion the ability to continue to to 